I would like to talk about the rise of the Habsburgs. The most significant and most powerful European ruler in the 16th century was Charles V, who ruled from 1505 to 1555. He ruled several European kingdoms and provinces like Spain, Naples, and also he was the Holy Roman Emperor. Besides, Charles V had a large colonial empire throughout the world, like the Philippines in Asia and most of the Americas. As the map shows clearly, France was almost surrounded by the provinces and countries of Charles V. So, in 1529, Francis I of France tried to break up the um, power of Charles V. So, at the Battle of Pavia, in, as I mentioned, 1529, that he, would, he made a desperate attempt to beat Charles. But as a result, Francis lost. And the power of Charles V grew even larger. However, his rule was overshadowed by the growing Protestant Reformation, which finally ended up with a peace treaty in Augsburg, according to which Charles V had to let had to let all the northern German princes follow their Lutheran religion, and at the same time, the emperor's influence over the German provinces decreased a lot. Charles was so disappointed after the peace treaty, that he resigned. He abdicated his throne and he divided his huge empire between his brother, Ferdinand, who inherited Austria, Bohemia, Hungary, and also the title of the Holy Roman Emperor, and his son, Philip II, inherited Spain and um, South Italy, the Netherlands, Milan, and of course the Spanish colonies in the Americas. Philip II could enjoy the tremendously growing influx of silver and gold from the Americas. The Spanish treasure fleet carried tons and tons of silver and gold each year from the Americas to Spain. Relying on that huge amount of money, Philip II was able to maintain a large standing army. The Spanish troops ruled the battlefields all over the 16th century. The most important aim of Philip II was to spread Catholicism and also to beat the Ottoman Empire. This attempt was really successful since in 1571 in the Battle of Lepanto, the United Spanish and Venetian fleet destroyed the Ottoman Empire's fleet. Now Philip II ruled the Mediterranean. However, he failed to beat Britain, ruled by Elizabeth I. The invincible Spanish Armada was destroyed by a severe storm on the North Sea and also by 
the more advanced English ships in 1588. This failure destroyed Philip II's reputation and also he soon died in a disease and the following rulers were way weaker than the previous ones so the Spanish world empire started to decay.